What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell, and in this video we have Marlon's latest deck and he's had it for a while. We've been tweaking at it and now with Link format, there's only really one Link monster, but this deck is still powerful. So yeah, Marlon, take it away. Cool, so I'm just put these over here. Fuck them. And uh, it's a new ABC Alistair Invoker deck. And what I'm running right now is three of the Alistairs, just, just because, just to see them. And it's a great card to search out Invocation, and it's the only card you need for Invocation. And then onto the ABC part, we have triple of all, all A, B, and C, which for most people, they, they prefer like two of each, or just maybe like one of some of them, or I'm running trips of all of them, just to see them, just to have them in hand, but it does, it does get kind of, they do kind of like clump up in your hand, so that is a problem. There are ways to get around it and other cards you can kind of run with them. But for now, it's just triple of all that. I'll just put those up there. And uh, that's it for most of the main monsters. And then for hand traps, I have two effect veilers and two ghost ogres. Because ghost ogre is still pretty useful in this. And Valor is kind of still a good way to like threat people or just kind of stop people. Although Ghost Ogre is a better option. And they're also light targets so I don't have to keep banishing my ABCs. And there they go. It's also fun that they're both tuners so I can use that for any tuning if I want to do it, maybe. Uh, one cockadoo will do again for tuning or for the uh, I forgot Maxi. Maxi is still an okay card even at one for a hand trap. Cockadoo will do for a win target and because it can be a level four or three, so that gives you a few more options to either exceed or do the other thing. And that's it for monsters. Just those hand traps. Trips of all the ABCs and Triple Invoker. And for spells, I'm running Double Twin Twisters because it's a great way to discard your unwanted ABC monsters. And just to destroy spells and traps. Uh, one Pot of Acquisitiveness, I was running this at 3. That was horrible. And at 2, it was still... I didn't really need 2 of them. And just having a 1 of is pretty nice and it helps you to remove if your opponent removes something for like that stupid dragon deck what is it disaster dragon what is that eh, some chaos oh yeah the new twilight sworn thing you can just shuffle back their judgment dragon or their punishment and it's hilarious that's mostly for like rodex double instant fusion because there's a lot of invoker or invoked <laughs> Level fives and lowers you can go for. I uh, I might drop this to just one later on because of the new link format. But for right now, I have two, and I'm gonna keep testing it out, see how it runs at two, and uh, I'll put that somewhere else. And uh, I'm running triple destruction, double dark hole, and Raigeki, just a just a board wipe as much as I can mainly because uh, with uh, pendulums being pretty much nerfed these are really helpful to clearing board for anything that's not masterpiece or maybe masterpiece you never know uh, those two then I have double terraforming for four of these well for Two of these and two Union Hangers. I was running Union Hanger at three, and then I tried this one at three, and it just kind of having three of either one kind of kind of hurt because you can't do Union Hanger more than once per turn. And same goes for Magical Meltdown. And having two and two kind of kind of balances it out a little. And uh, if you already activated one, the other one can be just used for like dropping it for Twin Twister or ABC Buster, or using it next turn just to try it out and leave that up there and then just one vacation because that's all I could afford for now 
basically. Well, you only really need two of these. Like I was saying, I could drop an instant fusion and drop the money for a second invocation in case this one gets banished or something happens to it. But for right now, the one is doing great, really helpful. And then one Book of the Law. This is this is more of a tech card for Mo. No one, I don't, I don't think anyone's running this, or they might be running it one for the same reasons I am. It's just if something happens to your uh, invoke fusion, you can just swap it out for anything, and that's it for the spells. Let me just pile these up, put these over here, and I'm only running six traps, and uh, I'm running these three trap holes: bottomless, floodgate, and double floodgate. Floodgates don't work against the link monsters as everyone knows or yeah they don't work against link monsters because they don't go face down so i might have to swap this out for something different but for right now i'm just seeing if i can keep using it see if uh putting monsters face down is helpful and then bottomless because this can hit anything basically almost everything uh just the one warning because it's at one and it's a great card and double storming and I am chose storming mirror force mainly because uh, which one's the other one the earth one the quaking. quaking quaking isn't as useful because of again link monsters are like really prevalent and they can't be put face down so you're still gonna get hit in the face and regular mirror force kind of some monsters can't be destroyed by card effects and this one's kind of a, like just a way to get rid of it, a lot of nasty stuff. And that's the deck. That's all the main deck stuff. And now for extra deck. We have three ABC Buster Dragons, because you need it. That one's a little misprinted. I'm proud of that one. I always go for that one first, and then the other two. And I'm running triple mainly because I want to see ABC Buster and what was the other reason? I think that's just it. I just want to have enough ABC Busters to go for it and then I have one invoked magic, I, I, the earth one, one earth one, one wind, or no I have two wind mainly because he's an instant fusion target. So two of the wind, oh, let me move that, two of the dark, and then double macabre. I could go triple, but you only really need the two macabres. And then the rest of them. Earth is against mostly Zodiacs, just to try and banish some of their, uh, whatever they are, the... Rap. Not really, well yeah, just any to banish Rapier or any of their, any of their uh, extra deck monsters that they really need. I try to like, banish it with Invocation and really try and stop their plays and then these these are all just instant fusion targets this one is to help exceed because he's rank four and then he puts stuff face down and being a level five doesn't it's just mostly to put face down stuff or uh try and bait out with if i have book of the law i'll invocation for rajin somehow with cockadool do and then swap them out with Book of the Law for Macab, because Macab is the real, the real star. I'm running one Crimson Blader. I'm gonna add a who is it? I'm trying to remember the name of the monster. A uh, Black Rose Dragon. So I can have like right now it's just the one Synchro Monster Crimson Blader mainly because he does work against the. Uh, God, I keep forgetting archetypes. What are they? Any that has high level monsters, like blue eyes. If no, the, the one, well yeah, it, it works against blue eyes because they can't summon blue eyes and it works against uh, the new the new deck that's out, sort of. Who are they? Mm, what a, I don't want to call it invocate. Uh, just anything that summons high level monsters that Crimson Blader stops it because he, uh, he has that stupid effect. Unless they don't summon next turn, then you're kind of fucked. Then on to Exceeds. One Castell. Fun card to just spin away everything. 
there. Either Raijin target. Rafflesia for the, uh, yeah, another Raijin target. Rafflesia because I'm running the triple bottomless. But if I, like I could swap out these two for like, uh, what's the really good counter trap right now? Strike. Yeah, just swap those out for strikes. And then swap this out for another synchro monster. Probably Black Rose or someone else. A level 7 that's useful or another level 8. Maybe, uh, what's his name? I always keep forgetting the, the, the really Omega. I can make another, uh, just have a side frame Lord Omega instead of Rafflesia. But that's, that's future. And Sukiomi, while I don't have, I do have doubles of the, uh, everything. What do I use them most? I, I used to use them when I had like, I had the Photon Thrashers in the deck and when I took them out, I just kind of kept Tsukuyomi in just to have that two level light and see if I can do a power draw, drop my hand, draw two cards. It's useful sometimes if I can get two level four light monsters. And then Deco Talker, mainly because he's the most useful link monster right now, for now. Until something better comes out. And everyone and, should know the combo, right? Yeah, because it's a deco talker. So, like, you can make ABC Buster. Not that one. That one's the ugly one. <laughs> so, if you can make that by banishing your... Three. A. A, B, and C. B and C. Tribute it on your opponent's turn. If these three are still alive during your... Or until your next turn, then you just... Send them all to the graveyard. Make deco talker. And from there... You have all these options to have ABC Buster connected to it and Macab. And then you have your triple threat right there. Because you can banish with that guy, negate with that guy, and... and negate with that guy. Eh, sort of. But, but yes. Know. If you want to. And that's a disgusting combo. And I think... Oh, well there's only two cards in the sideboard, which I'll... I guess I'll show now before I forget about them and it's only two two gamma seals for now I don't know what else I might add for a sideboard maybe uh some synchro monsters to have other potential because you can do that uh but for right now it's just the kaijus and something else I don't know what else I'd put in the sideboard just whatever whatever helps against the current meta mask of restrict <laughs> yeah, Mask of Sticks. Uh, not anti-spell. I can't run that. Well, I could if I'm already set up. But it's kind of like if I draw into it too early, I might be a little screwed. And that's it. That's the deck. So you you do the outro. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, Alistair. Final Fantasy, let's go. Yeah. You need one. If you're going to build this deck, you're going to need this for sure. Yeah. But try to get two. Two is, two is preferable. Three for fun. Okay. Don't go three. <laughs> Not right now. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.